Hey guys, Alec Hunter back with uh, some more news and discussion. Today I'm joined by Waffles. Hello everyone, my name is Waffles the Asian Yenber. Happy to talk about the news today. Alright, and we're going to be discussing a live action Powerpuff Girls series in development at the CW. Originally this was reported by Variety back in August of last year, but today we've received information that the pilot episode has been ordered by the CW. For those of you who don't know when a pilot is ordered, that means that a series that was in development, they're interested in putting it on air, they want to see the actual concept, they want them to produce a full episode, visual effects, show us what the show is going to look like. That doesn't mean that the show is going to go to series. Yeah, um, we got to wait for it to be right. greenlit first. Exactly. Um, but this is a big step in the process, especially if you are a Powerpuff Girls fan, you should be really excited about this. I know that I am, or at least was until I got into some more details on this article. Um, so this series will center around the girls who are now disillusioned 20 something year olds who resent that they lost their childhood to years of fighting crime. According to variety, um, we are getting our information from IGN today. So shout out to those guys. I, I hate this idea. Like I, I really, really hate this idea. Uh, the Powerpuff Girls is a bright, colorful, animated series with hopeful heroines. Like, these girls were the inspiration for a generation, including my little sister and my niece. You oh. know? So I'm, I'm very attached to the fact these are positive female role models with a healthy outlook. I mean, sure, Buttercup can get a little grumpy every now and again, but you know what? That was her thing, but she always pulled it together. She always helped the team. Seeing them as now jaded, bitter 20-somethings, I mean, it almost wounds me. What do you think, Waffles? Well, I can understand where you're coming from, where it's like this, this positive setting and positive characters kind of turned into gritty, disillusioned characters. I feel like that could go very wrong, but having looked at just the idea and knowing that the characters personalities probably aren't going to change that much from their base except just maybe a little bit more not edgy but a little bit more like uh, burdened by life i feel like they can play off each other really well and i don't think it's necessarily going to be a negative series i think that it's just going to start off with this is the situation and then they have to work together and kind of play off each other a la like charmed kind of where they all are kind of forced into the role of doing this kind of thing again and i think that that's going to be probably more positive than you expect well i mean great example they're talking about charm i love charm charmed was a great show old charm not new charm yeah i, seen uh, new I mean charmed. old I'm not, charmed, yeah. I'm not condemning new charmed i just haven't seen it so i can't use it as a yeah. reference i've been working my way through the series so it's on my mind <laughs> okay so as far as the people who are behind this series which is going to dictate a lot of the tone and the direction that it takes We've got uh, Heather, I think, believe it's Rainier and Diablo Cody. Um, so Rainier, executive produced uh, under the banner of Vita Vera Films, uh, worked on the recent Veronica Mars revival, the, uh, the series iZombie and Sleepy Hollow. Well, Cody is best known for writing Juno and working on Jennifer's Body and Young Adult. Greg Berlanti, David Baden, and Sarah, I want to say that's Schechter. Apologize if I'm butchering that are the executive producers under the Berlanti production banner. For me, Greg Berlanti is a name that I know really well. He does all of basically the CW shows for DC TV. So Flash, uh, Supergirl, Legends of Tomorrow. I think he's Black Lightning as well. Um, so I'm, I'm pretty familiar with the tone and the way that he dictates his series. The reason that actually doesn't fill me with a lot of hope is because I get a lot of Riverdale vibes off of this idea for Powerpuff Girls, which again is another series where they took bright, wholesome, fun, hopeful characters and turned them into a DC movie. That's the yeah. thing. Like, I feel like if it goes the Riverdale route, this is not going to end up well. Because just, no, well, actually a little offense to Riverdale. I think that the series is not very good it's just a <laughs> giant mess but the thing that gives me hope seeing this list is two names diablo cody and heather reiner diablo cody with juno and jennifer's body humor like with these characters and like a whole the, the like dc concept where it's kind of like uh they're a little bit grittier like it's, let's take the flash for example like the flash mm -hmm. is generally a pretty hopeful character and he still is pretty hopeful in the show but it mm -hmm. still has that darker tone sometimes and I feel like 
they'll take that kind of a route with this show and then have like the Juno Jennifer's Body comedy aspects in there where it's kind of like off-putting comedy if that makes sense and I feel like with this concept that could go pretty well now I didn't see the recent Veronica Mars revival um, I don't know if you have uh, I haven't but I've watched iZombie multiple times Okay, yeah, iZombie, I've seen a few episodes. I really like the tone and, like, the scope of that show. It has a good mm-hmm. sense of self-awareness. Yeah. Um, and Veronica Mars had, like, the, just really good direction in the original. So, I, I, like, again, I can't speak to the revival aspect of this. But if we can capture some of the more positive elements of some of the projects listed in this article, then I think even with... This part up here that scares me, being disillusioned 20-something-year-olds. <laughs> I think there's hope for the project, but I really do get the Riverdale feeling off of this. See, just seeing the words I Zombie, Jennifer's Body, and Juno is enough for me to believe in this project. I understand that it could go the Riverdale route, and I'm a little worried for that, but I think if we've got these writers, these people producing, I feel like it'll be good. I know, know, like, so you said you've seen a couple episodes of iZombie. In general, Mm -hmm. iZombie does this really well, where they take a story idea that's kind of dark, like a girl gets bit by a zombie, becomes a zombie, and has to live her entire life trying to deal with that fact. But they still play it off really well with, like, good, funny moments. It feels very balanced, but it's, and it tells a really good narrative. They're going to take that concept, and they're going to roll with it, and they're going to add those lighthearted moments. And I think you'll still see a lot of the old characters shining through. Well, as, as long as Bubbles isn't teaching me how to cook brains, I think we're good to go. <laughs> True. <laughs> well, are you okay with, like, Blossom doing that, though? No, I don't, no. I, I, I don't believe No brains. I no brains. Okay, <laughs> got it. No brains for this show. I mean, that might be, that may, might be something when, uh, when Mojo Jojo comes in, which, by the way, I want to see Mojo Jojo live action. That's probably the thing I'm most excited for. Yeah, I think that'll be really cool. <laughs> What about you? What character are you excited to see in live action? I always kind of liked H.I.M. I think him would right. be interesting. Right? Yeah. Also, the oh, like, guy versions of the Powerpuff Girls, too. Right, right. Okay, so I'm not sure if you're familiar with him, but what about Eddie Izzard as H.I.M.? Eddie Izzard? I don't know. Let me find out really quick. Hold on. Like, I've, I've heard that he's really changed kind of his, his style in the oh. last few years, but... He was a he was a very flamboyant like comedian for a long time. I think he would pull off the perfect mannerisms for HIM. I think so. I'm looking at him now. I think he could be good. Right. Ah, I would love to see this. So yeah, yeah, I think there's for me a lot of hope in this. I think for me I wasn't always the biggest Powerpuff Girls fan, but I really did enjoy it as a kid, like kind of casually. And I think going into this, I'm excited. Now I'm just wondering who are going to play the girls? That's a good question. I guess we'll have to stay tuned and find out. That's a good point. Yeah. So everyone watching this can come on back once we know more details and we'll try to let you know as soon as possible. But you know what's more fun than waiting? What's what? What? Speculating. True. Which is what you guys can do down in the comments below. Let us know who you think should play the Powerpuff Girls. Yeah. If you guys have special people in mind, that'd be really cool. So for this discussion, I am Alec Hunter. And I'm Waffles the Asian Yenber. Signing off. Have a good one, guys. Peace.